What's your feeling about lettuce on hamburgers? I like it. I don't like too much of it, though. What about shredded lettuce? Oh, I like shredded lettuce. You like way shredded better. better? Yes, way better than I like. I don't like it. I don't, I don't think lettuce should be on a hamburger. It just it's with insane. the tomato. It's, uh, I don't know. There's something to it. I have had it without the lettuce, and it just doesn't have that fresh taste. There's a, the tomato juices and the lettuce together with the, oh, yeah. Um, but, but if you get too much, and it's like, wait, I'm not eating a salad here. I want to talk about, yesterday there was a lot of talk about uh, weird toppings on your hamburgers and, uh, you know, people talking about eggs. Anne wanted to say that, uh, uh, set you straight on the Rocky Mountain Oysters. She says they are from bulls, not sheep. We covered it at the end of the show yesterday. I know, but uh, apparently that's, it's, not, it's not been covered. Like, just because one guy told you that doesn't make it the truth. I would think that crowdsourcing your, your uh, information here would behoove you. I told you I went to Wikipedia. Were you here yesterday at the I, end of the show? I heard I you. Said I, I said I was told this, and then Anne wrote in and said I was wrong, so I went to Wikipedia, and she's right. But then there was discussions out in the bullpen, and people are saying it was not from sheep. They were saying it was from turkeys. from bulls or, or turkeys. And I, I, we covered we just, all that. Can't we just say that... Why are you since, rehashing since this? Rocky Mountain you like Oyster, to say that I'm wrong? Well, why can't we just have it apply to everything that is not real? Because there's no such thing as a Rocky Mountain Oyster. So why don't we just say testicles from any animal are a Rocky Mountain Oyster? Okay? Because that's what the that's what the rub is. That's what the joke is, right? Yeah, I mean, they call them, uh, they call them a bunch of things. I was trying to think, what was it? Prairie... Prairie Candy or something like that. I mean, they've got a lot of nicknames yeah, for but it's just Rocky Mountain Rocky Mountain Oysters. oysters. It's just testicles. Don't even need to worry about what it's coming from. Okay. Okay. I, somebody, I agree with because that. Because then that way, that way, it does not muddy the waters. Because the one thing I don't want in my mouth is testicles. Okay. Balls are balls, people. Right. So let's not muddy the waters. If you're going to serve me up testicles, call it Rocky Mountain oysters. I don't care if it comes from a frog. Okay. But I want to talk about the worst burger invention of all time because we didn't get a chance to talk about it yesterday, and that is the slider. Why would I you say that? I love sliders. slider. Especially if it's done right. I've had sliders on those little uh, sweet rolls. What are those Hawaiian sweet rolls that you, you have get at Thanksgiving? Two bites. Three bites if you're lucky. Well, that's why you need like six of them. At least four. It's kind of like snack food. It's that's good. Appet- it. It's like good, like put it out it's during a party. Appetizer hamburgers. Like think about if you went to a party. Let's say you went to somebody's house for a, a game, a pain right? In the ass and people make. make nachos, which the cheese gets hard. It's just it's okay, unless it's fresh. But then you get like you know little Smokies, which I love, and then the wings, and that's cool. But all of a sudden, now they've got little sliders out there, and you can See, just I, grab by and grab a slider and pop it in your I mouth. I think and everybody. Walk off. Yeah, you know me. I'm not. I am not Mister Tapas. Okay. <laughs> No, nothing I can st- I can't stand more than people digging into the same dish. All right, but that's what the slider culture has provided. Not really, huh? Nobody's touching your burger; they're just all on a plate. Yeah, but they're all sharing from that plate. I'm not. I'm not a sharer. Okay, I'm an only child. You're telling me when you eat, you don't like to have multiple things. Like my perfect meal is. No. That's why I love Thanksgiving. You get all these little bits of a lot of stuff. I don't want one big thing. Like I don't want one big bowl of pasta. I don't want one big steak. I want a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I want to try all these different flavors. That's good. I like appetizers at Thanksgiving. What's That's an okay. appetizer? That uh, appetizers like uh, chips summer, and dip? summer sausage and celery and dip and whatever you know. I load up on that stuff at Thanksgiving because I, I don't like any of the food on the table for Thanksgiving. It's just the way I am. I don't think any of it's good. Um, but the appetizers are better, so I get my fill on the appetizers. That's the only time. What's that say about your mom's cooking? That I like the sharing of the of the food, the concept of sharing of the food. And so that's why you don't like the the. I want uh, my own slider. burger. I don't want a burger that I'm going to share with a bunch of people. You're not sharing it. You kind of are, though. They're making mini burgers. I know. Which are a pain you in like the ass. mini corn dogs? A pain in the ass to, for myself. It's not like I'm like, hey, here, go ahead and help yourself to my corn. If you dog. go to a party and they got a bunch of mini we corn dogs friends. and there was toothpicks in each one of them, what? you just pick a toothpick and you. We have in two the friends that I can't stand dining out with because they take it upon themselves to reach into your dish and as they're <laughs> touching something, they're like. Do you mind if I try a bite as they're touching it? Because yeah. at that point, you, what are you going to say? No. I know one person. You're talking smack about. their hand. You say, "Get up! Get out of my! Th- get out of my!" Food. Don't touch my! Don't touch my food. Hey man, let me try something. <laughs> Big ass hand coming in there. Like, dude, get away from my food, man. He, he wiped his ass with that hand. <laughs> and that's my problem. Well, with I'm it. thinking of one. Is the other one a guy or a woman? Guy. Two guys. Two guys. Two guys. Who's the other guy? Ken. 
Oh, Ken, yeah. Ken's really bad Ken, about it. Ken is just hilarious. He, he he's a cigar smoker. He's well, my no, cigar smoking good. buddy. Do you mind if I try some of that? I he's come just touching it. I come. I go the in cigar fingers. Okay, so my our buddy Kenny comes up. We've known him for a long time. Great guy. Anyways, we we both like smoking cigars. He'll so usually bring up him. some cigars, and then I'll he's light a great my guy cigar. To not eat out with, and well, or smoke a cigar with. I'll start smoking the cigar, and then I'll be like, oh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll put the cigar in the ashtray. I'll walk back. I come back. It's in his mouth. I go, what are you doing? He goes, oh, I wanted to try your cigar. I'm like, well, what am I going to do now? He's like, here you go. He goes, I'm not sick. I go, no, it's disgusting. That was in your mouth. Yeah. It's wet. It's, and that's he's gross. Like, oh. That's gross. So I get the cutter out, and I, I cut the end off. I throw it in the ashtray, and I can, I'm like, he looked at me like, oh, yeah, like I thought he had cooties or something. You do. I don't You're want sticking so- your slobber on there. I don't want something I'm putting in my mouth in some other dude's mouth. That's worse than sharing. That's worse than can I had try your fries or whatever. Our other friend, I'm like, we get just, a spoon, get a fork. I, I guess I don't mind this the, the the concept of sliders as much as I do just tapas. But sliders support the tapas concept. You see what I'm saying? Like it supports sharing. Sliders support sharing, and therefore I don't <laughs> I don't subscribe to it. Like <laughs> I can't stand going. Like there are a few restaurants around here that I'll like their food I'm at. I'm surprised you're such a slow eater. I can just see you when food comes out because you don't want nobody to touch it. Just like, <laughs> inhale it. There are a few restaurants around here that are tapas restaurants only, but they're really good restaurants. But I can't stand going to them because they have like, if you want a single offering for yourself, they have like three things on the menu for yourself. Like if you want, if you want an entree. They've got like three things in the menu because yeah. their specialty is got 15 people different sharing, top, people just sharing plates. stuff all over the table. Yeah, People reaching, it's the rudest concept in dining, it really is, because you got people reaching across the table, nobody's like, hey, could you pass me some of that? It's like, it's like you got armpits up in your, up in your <laughs> nose, and it gets hot here. <laughs> so you get sweaty armpits up in your nose. I think you're making great and people points. People drink wine. I'm actually, drink I don't want to talk about this here. anymore because so people are oh. sloppy. They're sloppy. I've and never... It's hot, and they're 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 grabbing things with the food. They smell like wine. They smell like booze coming out of their pores. <laughs> and the last thing I want to do with this group of basically sailors is share food with them. <laughs> I've never had this issue. Now it's going to bother me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've ruined Tapas for you. Thanks for listening. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. Woo! On 93.3 KZOC.